Hi, welcome to my first Diablo 3 gaming content for the Solo Witch Doctor build. The purpose of this content is to provide some information and share my Season 4 progress. Hopefully you will find this guide useful. I have completed the tier 66 rip and currently rank at top 500 in the leaderboards. The build that I am using is the Helltooth set acid glove build with some little variation. To show you my gear setup, let's go over to the Kanai skill first. First, for the weapon slot, I'm using the hand respect position. This will help you to get away from some nasty mobs since the effect will get them charmed for 3 seconds and reduce the damage by 80%. Second, for the armor slot, we are using the Green Reaper, which is pretty common for this build as they will cast your mimics while attacking and these mimics will cast your skills like Pyranido, Acid Cloud, and Wall of Death. And for the jewelry slot, you would need the Convention of the Elements as this will boost your elemental damage like your Poison, Cold, and Fire. Now let's go over to my equipment setup. Ideally, you want to have health to set and preferably all ancient items in your helm, chest, shoulders, gloves, pants, and boots. Since we are playing into higher grade rip levels, for your braces, you would need the Jerome's braces as it will give you an increase of 75 to 100 percent damage in your wall of death. Plus, you can cast the wall of death for three times before the cooldown begins. For the belt, you want the belt of transcendence. This will give you up to 15 fetishes while casting a mana spender to your enemy. Now for the ring slots, you gonna need the focus and the strength rings. And the amulet, you will need to craft your hellfire amulet with one of your useful passives like Graven Justice, Spirit Vessel, Pierce the Veil, Confidence Ritual, Swampland Attunement, and alternatively, Bad Medicine. It is up to you as long as you need the passives with a good roll with it. Finally, my weapon slot, I'm using the Swung Divino since this is an Acid Cloud build. Ideal rolls to your helm are in Crit Hit Chance, Vitality or Skill Bonus, Acid Cloud. If you need toughness, then go for Vitality. For the chest rolls, you need the int, bit, armor, or life percentage increase. Shoulders, int, bit, cooldown reduction, air damage, or wall of death increase damage. Gloves, int, bit, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. Pants, you need to have int, bit, armor or all resist for your boots you're gonna need int bit armor and acid cloud increase damage for the belt you want the int bit life increase armor or all resist bracers fire element increase int bit and crit hit chance for all of these secondary affixes you want all of them to have increased pickup radius and physical or lightning resist. Now for the skills, we are using the blazing spiders as our primary. This will return some mana while casting the mana spenders. Then wall of death, firewall wound. This since this build is fire based build and it has 40 yards of coverage acid cloud slow burn or acid rain root soul harvest languish to increase armor and intelligence for 30 seconds cast this skill near to the mobs for this to take effect pure needle this skill will suck in the mobs is a sort of 
crowd control and will give you an, an additional 15% damage to those mobs. Spirit Walk John for the escape and preventing damage. For the passives, we need Confidence Ritual, Spirit Vessel, Swamplan Attunement to gain an extra 120 resistance to physical, cold, poison, and fire to every enemy within 20 yards. And this skill will also increase with your pickup radius you have in your gear. Grave Injustice to reduce the cooldown when killing mobs and gain 1% max life mana. This is useful to recast your skills a lot faster. And for the Hellfire Amulet, you would want to have either Pierce the Veil to boost your damage or for defense, Bad Medicine or Jungle Fortitude. Now for the gem slots, you will want to have Bane of the Trap as this is really a good gem. It multiplies your damage to mobs that are slowed or has control impairing effects. Then Molten Guild Beast Gizzard which helps you to regen life faster plus you get the shield. And finally, you want to have the Bane of the Stricken which is really useful against Rift Guardian fights. You will see later on, I'm going to finish off the Rift Guardian or Lash around 2 minutes. How to use this build? The main advantage of this build is to help you to reduce the damage on the first attack by the mobs to you. This will give you enough time to escape and choose the best place to fight them plus you can also run away from the yellow packs this build can be good for a good map and high mob density rips the disadvantage is that you are weak against the elite or blue mobs as you don't have the furnace in your queue so you give up the elite damage at this stage so you have to focus on white or trash mobs instead. I have chosen the Acid Cloud over the Zombie Charger skill as I think the Acid Cloud can dish more damage with the help of the damage over time by the Lob Lob rune which can trigger the Bane of the Stricken effect. But take note of the internal cooldown of the gem. This build can be an alternative while you are farming for the Ancient Henry's Perquisition which I will be using later on paired with the Scrimshaw to get back to the Zombie Bear build as this is the meta for the higher ranks. Please watch the whole gameplay of this in the tier 66 script as I finish off. Then you will see the advantage of this build. Now enjoy the rest of the video. I welcome your comments and feedback about this content. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on twitch.tv slash the real doom6. I will provide another video content on Diablo 3, so watch out. To survive the trials? I do not have enough mana. I'm not ready yet. I need mana. I need more time. Need more money. Not ready yet. 
A perfect strike. I need mana. I need more time. Not ready yet. I do not have enough mana. Need more time. Need more mana. Need more time. Not ready yet. more time. 
ein.
Need more mana. Need more time. 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 You are triumphed. 